Hey guys, what's going on? This is Daryl Addison at TorpedoPot.com. Daryl Addison at TorpedoPot.com. Yeah, I know. When you see the scale, I don't want you to get scared and run. Because we're about to measure this bouquet of, uh, what is it? Flat parsley, right? Flat parsley, that's correct. Oh, yeah, daffodils are gorgeous on the side, aren't they? Yeah, they're going to have nasturtiums flowing out of it. It's going to be absolutely stunning. But my focus is the uh, is the flat parsley. She is so beautiful. Man, that's a beautiful plant. It really is a beautiful plant. Well, it's two of them. Smaller one, of course, and a larger one. This is the 16 inch planter. And it did a great job. And this is the uh, 12 inch planter. Uh, last year they were growing mandevelas and we brought the mandevelas in uh, during the, um, well, these two died out here because we didn't bring them in. So I left the uh, roots and everything else in there. And uh, the parsley's just taken to it. It's absolutely beautiful. Remember I told you to use the soil indefinitely? This is what I'm talking about. You just put your plants in, you continue to grow for most plants. Some light, clean, undedicated soil. What most plants are looking for, a biotic environment that will help them metabolize, that will help them to break down those uh, particulates in the soil. Set that aside for now. I'm going to Shave off this parsley. Look at this. She's too big. I'm sorry, I've shaved some off before, as you can see, but uh, clearly not enough. So I want it to be buoyant. So the question is, how do, how should I prune or store or prune my, uh, my parsley? I mean, what, how, what should I do with it? Well, parsley is really a, um, a crop that originated in Africa. We have since called it Italian parsley and so many different names. And these herbs have been around before you and I. Our nation and their nation and the world is not the, all nations of the world are not the first to have something. Food has been growing a long time since it was established on this earth. So don't, don't think for some odd reason that uh, oh, it was new to us. No, none of this is new. People have been eating these foods for thousands of years. But we're going to come in and we're going to prune back all of this growth. And I'm going to store it. So I wanted you to look at me do it. And so I want to um, stand this uh, phone up so that uh, you can actually take a look at it. So let me see if I can pause this. And if not, you know what? I'll just go. And I'll just cut it off and show you guys at the aftermath. Give me one minute. Let's see what we can do here.